We have some pretty interesting news coming at you today about stuff dealing with things that are happening surrounding the Nintendo Switch to one massive game in particular, but also two separate things that sort of build on each other. And the first thing we're going to be actually focusing on is hoping you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. After all, we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying all of our videos and all this coverage, I would appreciate if you would drop a like and subscribe. That being said, we need to dive into this a bit because we have two different things we want to get into. We'll put some timestamps below, although they are related to each other. And the first one deals with Generation 10 of the Pokemon franchise. I almost said Legend of Zelda. I really wanted to. But no, the Pokemon franchise. Because we got some fresh Pokemon rumors coming from one of the most reliable Pokemon insiders in the world. Known as Riddler Koo over on X. And look, his leaks have been pretty damn spot on for years at this point. He's well known. Used to drop the leaks in a very subtle riddler like way but now he's much more direct about it because you know what maybe some people suck the fun out of it for him beats me but what's really fascinating is what he had to say about the two most anticipated pokemon games at this time one of those is pokemon legend za the other one being the next generation of mainline pokemon games which comes off of the pretty successful, despite the backlash, Scarlet and Violet. So what did he have to say? Well, he put this tweet out quite literally today that just said, well, late last night, I suppose, that says, have you prepared for Gen 10 30th anniversary? Now, the 30th anniversary, for those who don't know, is happening in 2026, making Generation 10 a 2026 release. Now, whether it's early in 2026, middle of 2026, Late in 2026, we don't know, but there are a better than likely chance that this is going to be a Nintendo Switch 2 release. Remember, most people, and we don't know 100% for sure yet, but most of us anticipate Nintendo Switch 2 will be launching at some point, maybe in early to mid-2025. And the Pokemon franchise has a history of sort of skipping out that first calendar year of a platform and then showing up year two after there's 10 plus million or so in sales of the platform. And that would time out to have that be a holiday release in 2026 for the 30th anniversary of Pokemon, which obviously happens in February, but again, the, you celebrate the anniversary all year. That's just how these companies do it. So if it is a holiday release, in 2026, then yeah, it's probably going to be a Nintendo Switch 2 game. Now, it could potentially obviously be a cross-generation game and also end up on the original Switch at that time as well. But hey, that's around the time that they also brought us Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee in 2018 for Nintendo Switch. Yes, the following year after the platform launch. So this would sort of follow the pattern they always seem to do. And that's pretty exciting in that of itself. Generation 10, no information on it. We do have a smidge of news though, however, on Pokemon Legends ZA, which has already been announced by Nintendo. So if we go over here and look at his further rumors, he says this one, Ikaku will not be out too early next year. This is a reference to Pokemon Legends ZA. And when you click on this, there's a few interesting tidbits that come out. One, for starters, it's just not being early next year is already a fascinating tidbit to me. A lot of people expected it to maybe be an early release, just like the original Pokemon Legends. Apparently not. So that to me signifies this is going to be the big Pokemon game of 2025, and it's announced for Switch. Again, following lots of patterns, they often still release a major Pokemon game when the new platform's out for the old platform. Can you play it on Switch 2? Probably with backwards compatibility, but I wouldn't suspect that it would be cross-generation. It's possible that it is, but I wouldn't be expecting that. We'll see, of course. We don't know. Right now, it's only officially announced for Switch. Now, that being said, so, so are we getting any Pokemon game this year? He just said the only focus is going to be on the TCG card app, so no. The answer is no, right? If, if the answer is not yes, it's a no. Uh, but this is what's interesting here, is that even though it's going to be later in 2025, we're going to know the starters. Because this person, Vigilante, says, any news on the starter? He says, you're going to know them, so it's not just one. You're going to be able to choose between three, probably like normal, within this year. So there's going to be more news on Pokemon Legends EA this year. Heck, could even be at the June Direct. However, the June Direct is focused on the second half of 2024, according to Shintaro Furukawa. We all know what that means, right? Focused on, could have stuff in addition to. So Pokemon Legends EA is already literally announced for Nintendo Switch. 
Wouldn't be shocked to see more news about it this summer, and then again later this fall, and then again next, you know, spring slash end of winter, and then we start getting into the release cycle for Pokemon Legends EA. So, honestly, it all kind of is lining up pretty nicely, I would say, for Pokemon. And while I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan, there's a lot of things going on out there. And Generation 10, let's let's first talk about that. Generation 10 needs some work, right? We need to see something to prove that they care about this franchise as much as we care about that franchise. And a lot of this is just about the quality of the product that comes out, the polish that's put in there. Like we could forgive it not being the greatest looking game visually if it runs well and is relatively bug free, which is not what we got with the last major release in Scarlet and Violet. And is something we want to see improved. One nice thing about this, though, if you think about it, the Pokemon company will have done something they've never done before two straight years without a major Pokemon release. Let's think about that. They had the DLC for Scarlet and Violet last year, but no brand new major release, like no remake, no remaster, no Legends game, no, you know, brand new generation. And look, it looks like they're doing the same thing this year. No Legends this year, no remake or remaster. They just wrote on some DLC, which probably wasn't the entire team working on it. What that does tell you is a couple of things. One, the Pokemon company is spending more time working on Generation 10 and even Legends EA than they did on the first Legends game and the last generation of Pokemon. They're taking their time. They're not forcing themselves to rush games out last year and this year. They're taking their time to try to do Legends EA and then obviously Generation 10 correctly and probably with more polish that is something that i at least hope is happening maybe i'm a little naive and that really matters for me for generation 10 because i do feel like as well as generation 9 sold nintendo themselves had to apologize on behalf of the pokemon company nintendo does not like to be put in those publicly compromised situations so i am willing to bet that nintendo got directly involved and told them hey you need to take more time making these games more time polishing them all this stuff plus if they're making it for a new platform there's all the new quirks and stuff to learn there so i actually think that uh this is actually pretty good news for me as someone who has started to get back into pokemon after the legends release and then scarlet and violet i actually take this all to be mostly good news Legends EA isn't early next year because they're taking their time to do it right. Hey, Pokemon, uh, you know, Gen 10 is still years away. Again, doing it right, in my opinion. If there's not another uh, remastered Pokemon game next year and it's just Legends, I, do, I truly think they're just taking their time to try to do things right. So to me, that makes me even more excited for the possibility of Generation 10 before we even see it. Now, getting on the Pokemon Legends EA... It's kind of funny. We had an interesting debate in last week's podcast. We have a brand new podcast live tonight at 8 p.m. Central right here at Nintendo Prime. And the interesting debate over the podcast is what sort of game Pokemon Legends EA is going to be. Uh, we know it takes place in a city. Is it about building the city up? Uh, is it about catching Pokemon still the way the last one was, which was this raw thing where you're out in a pseudo open world, open zone, technically, and you're crawling around chucking Pokeballs? Is that what it's going to be like? in a city version of the game is it going to be something else entirely there's a lot of debate because we honestly don't know much about it and we haven't technically seen any gameplay for it we've just seen some outline ideas of a city <laughs> we have you know some fishing and stuff we haven't really seen what this game really is so that's also exciting just to know that hey we're going to learn the starters later this year which means we're going to see the game later this year hopefully actually see the game you know, actual gameplay of the damn thing, not just this repeated trailer we keep playing that tells us next to nothing other than the city it's in, so we kind of know what games it's it's a history to. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. There's been a lot of rumors, by the way, in the Pokemon verse. If you guys notice, as much as we cover a lot of rumors and leaks, we are not sitting there covering every tiny little minute Pokemon rumor out there. It's because I have found a lot of Pokemon rumors from a lot of these places to be extremely unreliable. That's why we're sticking to places that we know to be fairly reliable, such as Riddler Coup. Riddler Coup has a very good reputation, so we're willing to report on that stuff. Uh, there's a lot of other Pokemon rumors from a lot of other places that we're just kind of ignoring because... 
bad track records. If you are obviously a Pokemon only channel, I can understand covering a lot of that stuff because it is fun to speculate and talk about. And again, you're focused on one franchise. We're focused on the whole of Nintendo here. So we're trying to stay to the more reliable stuff. And also maybe you might go, man, that's ironic for a channel that used to cover Zippo and Nash Weedle. And I agree, but also we've learned and we're not covering people like that anymore. We're focused instead on the more reliable stuff out there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. I also just want to say a big shout out here at the end. Nintendo did update their NSO app last night, and I haven't been covering a lot of the actual news with Nintendo right now because there's not a lot of super exciting stuff happening. But one of my childhood favorites is back in Super Mario Land. Just dropped on the Game Boy NSO app yesterday. I'm so excited to have that game come back. So much so, I'm actually going to finally download the Game Boy app just to get a little nostalgic over Super Mario Land because, my lord, that game's fantastic. Now we just need Super Mario Land 2, and I'll be set when it comes to what my childhood was. Well, maybe. Pokemon games technically were a huge part of it as well. Not sure if we'll ever get those, but phew, really excited to have Super Mario Land back on NSO. Or on NSO for the first time, back into my life, since I have no way to play it until now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Robojets from Nintendo Prime. <sighs> Catch you in the next video.